Welcome back to Debt Haters. My name is Alina and my husband and I hate our six figure student loan debt and we're on a journey to pay it off. Today's budget with me is our income from December 28th carrying us through January 4th. It is the last paycheck of the year and it's my husband's income from his part-time job at an after-school program and that was five hundred thirty six dollars and nine cents all right sorry that pen wasn't doing right so here we go the part-time income five hundred thirty six dollars and nine cents he also got a bonus from that job surprisingly i mean everyone got the bonus it wasn't just him <laughs> so after tax that extra money was 232 dollars and 16 cents which i think was originally a 350 dollar bonus so you can see what happened it was like tax out the wazoo but it's all right we'll take it rollover for this week we have 2500 65 dollars and 79 cents and this is just money that was saved throughout the month it includes you know my income his income and i am so sorry you didn't get to see all those budgets but part of my new year's resolution is to be better about keeping up with the budgeting not just for your sake but uh, but for mine too like i need to keep up with it so anyways we add up all of these income sources and come down here to the total income we're working with three thousand three hundred thirty three dollars and or thirty four dollars and four cents going to the expenses now giving 94 groceries our normal 175 which i'll say about groceries i'm hoping we don't use all of this Oren actually made a lasagna for Christmas dinner and he made a lot for whatever reason. So it came out to like two whole casserole, you know, those long casserole dishes. So we just ate one and I suggested, hey, why don't we freeze the other? So that's going to be dinner for a couple nights this week. And so that takes some things off of my list of what I needed to buy. Gas, we're doing $75.00. That's a 50-25 split between our two vehicle vehicles. Oren goes back to work this coming week. He's a public school teacher, so he's been out for the holiday break. Um, so he goes back this week. I originally thought he was going back on Tuesday, but it's actually on Thursday. So we really don't need all of this $50. It's just going to be sitting in the van because he's not going to be driving anywhere, really. So that's all right. I mean, come next week. We just won't have a lot to put towards gas that week. So let's see, we have a $5 service fee for one of our bank accounts that comes out. Covenant Eyes comes out for $18.56. Our phones, $95.45. And hello, rent. <laughs> so our largest expense of the month by far and it's one thousand seven hundred sixty five dollars and ninety five cents that's including fees and all so I, I was going to say oh how we hate you but I'm grateful for a place to live it's just really expensive for what we're getting we've been doing the planning out for the year I feel like that's probably something everyone's doing this around this time the end of the year let's plan out our next year and we are planning a move in 2024 like lord willing this debt will be done and sometime in the year we can finally move somewhere cheaper um but for you know for now it is what it is and we thank god for what we have while on our way to somewhere better <laughs> okay so water is eighty dollars and eighty cents which is cute <laughs> car insurance was looking kind of nice too this month it was sixty-five dollars and twenty cents. So our car, car, so our insurance company does like a little gift at the end of the year every year. So we got our little discount, and after they, you know, applied that to what's owed in January, this is what's left over. Now 
you know, February 1st, it'll go back to the $126. <laughs> but for now, we just get kind of get like a, I guess you call it like a profit share or something like that. So where it's not just us, you know, it's everyone else who's a part of this company, they got a little discount on their insurance too. All right, HSPE stands for Homeschool PE, and it's a weekly class for our kids. That's $50 a month. And then the buffer, $11 for this week. So you add it all up and expenses come to $2,435.96. Subtract that from our income and there is money left over. Praise God. <laughs> that amount is $898.08. And it's all going to debt this time. Um, our last push of 2023, unfortunately, we didn't make it. We didn't become debt free in 2023, like we set out to do, uh, but we did get close. And we'll do an update on that soon. But until then, wherever you are on your debt free journey, keep at it.